The language of groups that we've long tracked have long been problematic, like Students for Justice in Palestine and Jewish Voices for Peace. They flipped like this and went to like Iranian propaganda. The language I could show you from their toolkits, because our analysts are in their groups. Because our analysts are in their groups. Because our analysts are in their groups. <laughs> said to people when they asked me if this capital crumbled to the ground, the one thing that would remain is our commitment to our aid, and I don't even call it aid, our cooperation with Israel, because that's fundamental, our cooperation with Israel, because that's fundamental, our cooperation with Israel, because that's fundamental. I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. My father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. For I am. Israel is essential to the security of Jews worldwide. Did you know, back in 1993, 
the FBI raided the San Francisco office of the Anti-Defamation League. This is coming from the Baltimore Sun article titled Anti-Defamation League Raided by Police. Spy data sought in San Francisco. This article was published on April 9, 1993. It reads, San Francisco police have raided the offices of the Anti-Defamation League looking for illegally obtained law enforcement information used in a nationwide political spy operation. The district attorney's office said yesterday also released hundreds of pages of documents detailing how ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, operatives, in other words, analysts, infiltrated political groups. The documents describe a widespread spy operation aimed at such diverse organizations as the white supremacist, white Aryan resistance, the Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee, Operation Rescue, Greenpeace, the NAA CP, the board of directors of public television station KQED, and the San Francisco Bay Guardian newspaper. The searches of the ADL offices in San Francisco and Los Angeles were the latest twist in a scandal that erupted in the San Francisco Police Department. Now, I want to give this warning to you, my brothers and sisters. If you are planning or have already established special interest groups, be careful and properly vet the membership of your organization. Keep the organization small and tight for as long as you can. What's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your comments. Also, please click the like, click the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11, verse 10. Explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14, verse 13. Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the father. Jacob had 12 sons, for real. And these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10.